yes for a lot of the woodworkers out there. I noticed that I did not hook up my dust collection system. I failed to do that. I um, actually had the dust collection system hooked up to my saw stop and while I should have disconnected it and hooked it up to the planer for this process, I did not. And uh, you'll notice here in a little bit, I made the same mistake uh, with the joiner. This white oak board uh, was taken off of our property. We cut the tree down, um, you know, shortly after we bought our home. Uh, I guess this log had been sitting around for uh, at least a year to 18 months before we opened it up. Uh, we actually used our Woodmiser LT50 wide to cut the boards. And when the boards were cut, I believe the moisture content was in the 30s at that time, maybe mid 30s. And, um, after we actually kind of got it worked up here, I uh, put the moisture meter back on it and we we're still in that 15 to 16 percent range. So um, still not to the point that uh, we can use it for a project. Back to my original error of not hooking up our dust collection system, you will see the joiner is spitting out little wood chips. That's because uh, the chute is full and I do not have the dust collection system hooked up. Uh, we'll remedy that in the future. get it turned on. The purchase of this saw stop has been uh, a worthwhile investment. We had a DeWalt uh, contractor's grade saw which we've been using for a long time and it's still a great saw but it is a 110 saw. The saw stop this is the largest 220 single face saw that they make and um, it rips through this white oak without bogging down. No burn marks on the wood. Uh, excellent job by the saw stop. Well, that's hard. All right, so this is the first white oak board that we cut off our property and we milled with the wood miser and then we ran it through our Powermatic 20 inch planer, ran it through the Powermatic joiner and uh, ran it through the saw stop and get it all squared up. And uh, this right here is going to go for a future project of a set of nightstands. You don't want to say anything? No, I don't want to say anything. All right, so I don't know if the video does this any justice or not, but uh, this board right here, this is white oak. They're both white oak. Uh, the board on the right is one that we milled off the property. Both these are. Um, milled it with our wood miser sawmill. Um, we just put a moisture meter on it. This stuff's still around 15 and a half, 16 percent before it's kiln dried. Um, but this board right here, we've surfaced. It's an S4 board, so we've got this one completely surfaced. Uh, this one right here, we've not touched, so I don't know if you can see the difference there or not, but take a look at it. And like I said, these are going to be used in a future project for a set of nightstands.